I picked this leak, or these leaks, I should say, just in the nick of time, because it looks like they were wanting to, to go to seed. So I cut the tippy tops off, and then cut these into smaller pieces because they can be used for flavoring. And then these are yummy. Okay, so let's get the scale turned on here and find out how much they weigh. Seventeen one seven two. Well, oh, that's kilograms. I don't want kilograms unit pounds. Okay, there's six ounces right on the nose. I don't know this. And we picked a bunch of rhubarb. I zeroed out the bowl and then I'm just putting this into small pieces. I'll probably cook some of it for a little bit of a dessert today and then stick the rest in the freezer. The bowl is sitting on top of the scale in case you Wondered why I said I zeroed out the bowl. There's got to be a faster way to do this. Let me see if I can take my knife and do it this way. On the... Oh, yeah. Way faster. I've got over a pound. They've got a pound and 1.2 ounces. But I got a little bit more, so it's going to be more than that. Some people's rhubarb is all red like that. Mine is mostly green with a little bit of red in it. It's just the kind of rhubarb I have. I have no idea the name of it. The original rhubarb bush was here when we moved here 27-ish years ago. And then I've planted a few more bushes, which I think the red ones come off of the newer bushes. As per usual, 
the bushes had started going to seed, so we pulled out all of the seed heads too because we don't particularly want it to go to seed. And I sometimes have to do that more than once during the season. Okay, I think we got her here. So let's we get this all on the bow. Hopefully I can fit it all on here. There we go. <coughs> two, whoop. Okay, 2.4. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> I'm pretty sure my mouth opened too long. Two pounds, 4.5 ounces. I'd say that was a, a fun little harvest. <coughs> Okay, and I'll write that down. And today is May seventeen twenty three. Okay. I need to transfer that all up to a different page because I was writing names of people in the collaboration down there and then crossing them off as I got them friended or, you know, yeah, friended, I guess that's the right word. Rhubarb and leeks. I'd say a good harvest for my teeny, teeny farm for one. Well, it isn't a farm, it's a garden in a yard. <laughs> for one day. Okay. Oof. And I got three, no, I got six tomato plants planted out in my, yesterday I made a video showing you that I got three, three of the totes planted with tomato, goodness, with tomatoes and a few little flowery things that should grow up along to co-inhabit with the tomatoes. And this morning I got two more, and now we still have to get some more dirt to fill up the third pot. And then I still have tomatoes left. Even though I thought I was cutting back, I grew too many. <laughs> I always do. I told my hubby we could sell them. He said, no, 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 no. So, no. No, there, well, I've got some turquoise pots sitting out there, the little round ones. I can put a, a plant in each one here eventually. <clears throat> we'll get that done in the next day or so. But it felt good to get out in the garden. I just sat there for a while, just soaking it all in. Hubby got the more hummingbird feeders up. Got them replenished with hummingbird food. We could make our own hummingbird food, but he buys it in big, what is it, a half a gallon hummingbird food that's already made up and liquidy. I know they say not to put food color in, but what he buys has red, is red in color. So I would think that if you're buying it, the people that manufacture it for sale would know what the birds can and can't consume. Is that a bad assumption to make? <laughs> but I'm going to sit and relax here for a bit. It's starting to warm up outside. Um, it was in the low 60s when I went out, which is just right for working. 
just right for working in the garden. And the garden is shaded in the morning until about nine-ish. Nine-ish, it starts, one end of it starts getting sunny by, okay, it is 80 degrees out there right now. Okay, so it is 10, 17 a.m. And the garden is almost all the way in sun by now. Not quite. It's still a little, a little portion of it that's in the shade. So from about 10.30 on, and that will be an earlier time as the summer gets closer, it's in full sun until about 4.30. The part closest to the house starts getting shady between 4 and 4.30 and then. Just gradually the shade moves out to include the whole garden. So the house shades it on one end and the apple tree on the other end. Apple tree shades it in the morning and the house in the evening. But during the middle of the day, for most of the day, from about 10 in the morning until 4, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 6 hours. I'm thinking in the summer, right, this time of year about six hours, but in the summer it's more like eight or nine hours that it stays in full sun. So it's a good little spot for a garden. I even have to shade things in the summer because it gets too hot. I used row covers as shade cloths last year. So we'll, we'll see what I come up with this summer since I'm being creative <laughs> for sure. But it feels good to know that I'm actually being a gardener again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I'm growing plants in the house, I'm still a gardener, but it's just not the same. Just not the same as going out and feeling the fresh air. That fresh air is so good for my, my mental well-being. The only thing I have to put up with is my inability to move around very gingerly. Very, very, I, I have to make sure I have things to balance on. And I have to be very careful not to bump my legs into anything or lose my balance, either one. And then the other thing I have to put up with is an overprotective hubby. You know, like about every 15 minutes he comes out, are you okay? Don't work too hard. Don't let yourself get hot. <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Just let me, let me know when I'm, I, I know when I'm done more than I could, we should. And he said, no, you don't. <laughs> well, he's part way right, but part way I'm right too. <clears throat> Getting, it, it just feels so darn good to get out there. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and close up this <clears throat> video. You saw my weights on the two things that got harvested. One of the other things that needs to get harvested, I probably will wait till tomorrow. If I do it today, it'll be in this evening. Um, and, but the weights won't, I won't make a movie about it, a video about it until tomorrow. Is I have a bunch of herbs up right near the house that desperately need to be trimmed, I guess is it, pruned, and then use my dehydrator, dehydrate them and get them into jars. I've got, I've got tons of lemon balm and some sage and some, what else do I have out there? Some red vein sorrel, some lavender, There's grass growing up where the asparagus is. There's asparagus plumes. So I don't know if I got any asparagus spears or not. I, It's been in there long enough that I should be getting asparagus. But, because it's been in there f four or five years. But it's planted right where the ground is hard as a rock. And I, the plumes come back every year, but they don't seem to get spears. So that area... As soon as my health allows, I need to do a lot of reworking there and maybe 
move asparaguses or fix it so that they can prosper because they don't right now they're not really prospering the way I like them to I hope you're doing well I encourage you to comment on my video like my video subscribe to my channel yeah all those things everybody tells everybody every time right just do it <clears throat> I've noticed my full-length videos I get anywhere between 5 and 20 views my shorts I can get anywhere from 15 to 300 views or more so the shorts do better as far as people watching but that's only 59 seconds or less and those people very rarely subscribe so I don't know if the shorts are helping my channel grow or if they're not I hope before the summer is over I get well, let's see I should make a goal that's reachable right now 700 is probably reachable I'm 600 and some odd I forget I'd have to look six it's either 625 or 645 I don't remember which <clears throat> so I should be able to get to 700 right be nice to get to a thousand or more Well, I cannot think of anything else that I should be saying to you. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the video for today. May the good Lord surround you with his love and blessings. And I'll see you on the next video.